All right, um, we're recording. Okay, thank you, Joe. Um, so, Manil, there's your data point. Uh, we had trouble going to YouTube, so. Uh, cool. Um, so, Joe, as you joined, we are just uh, brainstorming like requirements and uh, for, for in the case scenario where we are online, what are requirements that we would need for the platform? Um, and we are also kind of brainstorming other factors, variables to keep in mind, such as like a guide for presenters, problems presenters might face. Um, uh, I loved Christian's idea too about the games room, stuff like that. Um, so let me finish writing microphone headphone. Um, other feature requests or needs. Um, Oh, maybe not a feature request, uh, uh, request, or it would be nice if, if the tool would have a way where people can collectively um, make notes and allow us to streamline or upstream them to GitHub or I don't know, at least like a Google Doc that is like central to the next super video conferencing, so that this there's no um, problem with Jacob that no one has to copy and paste things out. And um, there's a, we streamline this process of uh, keeping the notes and all the artifacts that have been discussed in the meetings. That's a great idea. Artifacts. Hi, everyone. Well, hi, Matteo. I made it, like, I was like one hour late to my, to my original expectations, but whatever. <laughs> um, it is good to see you. It's just a late, I'm late beyond any possible means, but my previous meeting ran over by an hour. So. You, 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 are for, you are forgiven. You are here. That is what matters. Um, Matteo, we are just um, having a brainstorm discussion about what required um, features we might uh, need for the scenario wherein we are doing this um, via a online platform. Um, so folks are coming up with uh, different ideas like a um, streamlining notes feature or um, blah, blah, blah. obviously good queuing features for take so folks can take turns and ask questions that kind of stuff. Um, we're also talking of just general um, guides or wish lists type items for uh, presenters, um, things, and attendees. Um, Christian had an idea to do a game room somehow. That's a great one. Uh, so that's where we're at. Um, and then uh, Roy, I like this idea. Do you want to um, expand on it about code sharing? Yeah, it's just that we try, we give it a try at the tooling working group with the uh, HackMD. And that already like, improved so much more the experience, but it's just markdown, right? Uh, but in the context of uh, the Collapse Summit, it would be nice to have a proper uh, code sharing platform, like going beyond just markdown, like really having more code capabilities into this. Thing. Um, that's a good one. I think that there are paid versions of HackMD that, um, hi kiddo, hi cutie, um, that you can get to, um, uh, to also to, to work with other languages. So we should check that out. Um, uh, and uh, I'm a little also disturbed simultaneously by Joe's. <laughs> What's going on? Sorry. All right. Um, okay. Uh, uh, right. Any other ideas or thoughts or, or wish list items for um, for the platform? 
I think what I will need to know is how many simultaneous sessions uh, we would want to have. And again, for one day or two days, those are important components. I think that's a great um, next topic is like, like what, what, what would we want to adjust in terms of the format? Um, so how many simultaneous sessions? Um, um, format. What I have actually not gotten just a ton of that was an action item I had um, from from the last call was to send that note out to to projects and ask for um, ask for input. I had uh, four or five people reply, um, mostly to say that they would not be able to make an in-person um, uh, collab summit this year. Um, and to say that if one were available in a remote at first uh, context that they would attend and participate in that. So that's sort of just re and that was like I said, uh, uh, sent that out to the projects list, got five responses back. Um, and that's better than none, but it kind of reinforces our feeling that in the worst case scenario, people will want to do something together online. Um, so a lot of folks also mentioned the time zones as being a thing that they were concerned about because, you know, they, a couple of folks were like in Poland, for example, um, wanting to participate um, synchronously with everyone else might present um, challenges. So we would probably, we probably do need to really kick the tires on the format and timing now so we can set those expectations. Um, does anybody want to throw like a straw person thoughts out or preferences to? Let's, let's list the folks we do know who we think want a track in addition to an open JS collab summit. So I think I've heard Electron perhaps wants a track. Uh, does Node need a separate track in addition to OpenJS? Who else did you hear back from, Jordan? The, I think the question, the key question before that, for that time zone, mm -hmm. I don't think there is, like, from my point of view, there is a, time zones are a, a biggest problem before tracks. Yeah. Because it's, um, you know, scheduling session is going to be way harder. And yep. uh, even though we might want a track, we might actually just say that we don't want one because if like this is good mode, then yeah, it's a uh, you know Node.js is really spread over all over the globe, mm -hmm. so it's uh, it's unfeasible to ask people, for example, in China to do certain type of hours. Uh, yeah. And so there is like, it's going to be hard to some extent. So we might need to maybe rethink the, the format to, to some extent. So, and maybe plan it more in a, you know, unconferency way or more less than this will happen these two days and more this will happen these this week or something like that compared to compared to everything i'm just flagging it because i just yeah that's that's good maybe we have more small chunks of time like to break it out over a few days so if that's, we have if we have all the sessions if we know all the sessions in advance we can ask people to say which sessions they are interested in and which they want to participate and I think, Joey, you mentioned the tool that we had at the ACE, at the W3C TPAC meetings where you just put all these factors together and it will create a schedule that works for all the attendees that are interested in those meetings. And based on that, we can find the ideal schedule. Uh, and, you know, when one session can be at 3 a.m. in Europe, if no one in Europe is interested in that session, it would be fine to have it at 3 a.m. Um, yeah, that I would love to 
reach out to Dominique about modifying that W3C scheduler tooler tool because that would be pretty dope. That was pretty actually miraculous how well that worked. Um, but to, to Mateo's point and, and Robin's earlier question, the, the feedback I'm getting is that it depends, is that big? It depends because the format and the time zones and sort of like the time requirement um, is like a, a variable for projects thinking about putting content together. So it feels a bit like we have this catch 22 or chicken and egg sort of problem where it's like, well, we, we want to know who wants to participate so that we can find the time zones and the format that works for them. But the, those folks want to know like the time zones and the format plan be, so they can figure out how they want to participate. And so, you know, it's a bit of, it's like that sort of, um, neat tug, you know, pull, tug and pull, whatever, you know, kind of thing. Um, so, but to, to Robin's question, um, Electron, uh, AMP, Node, um, there are certainly a lot of our at-large projects who had indicated their interest in um, doing sessions during OpenJS Collab Summit, but not feeling that they had enough content to run a whole track. So. Um, that's, that's that. Um, and I will tell you, it, it's apples and oranges a little bit, but the big technology platform that we would uh, use, assuming our event goes uh, virtual, does have actually a global translation tool to it. So that would be pretty cool. But again, those are sessions that you could watch later. So it's not always uh, going to apply for a collab summit. And I think maybe that's one of the challenges of this event mm -hmm. uniquely compared to a conference where, you know, if you if you're not there to watch it live and, and ask a question, you you were probably just watching the session in the first place and so it's okay. But in right. collab summit where we expect peers to participate and drive the content, you know, the folks in the room are the programming. Um, it's harder to do those things. Um, mm -hmm you know um i'm happy to take the action item to uh to follow up with dom um because i'm dominique is um, at the w3c about this tool um and see if if we can modify it for our uses i think just to give you all um a uh just picture of what this was so the w3c has an unconference day as part of tpac and what they do is they request uh, folks to submit sessions and they have a set number of rooms that they can hold sessions and a set and a constraint on time um, and what they did was um, like have people add those sessions and then people submitted um, added their names to the sessions that they wanted to attend and then based on that, the, the um, tool selected the timing, the, the most optimal timing. Um, obviously that had some constraints going for it, one way being that it was all in the same time zone and, and you know, there, there was the number of rooms. Um, but here we don't have a, a number of rooms requirement because there could be an infinite number of rooms, I, su I suppose. I, I guess none of the tools have a room limit, do they, Robin, that you're running into? Um, I'm not quite sure. I'll, that, I'll find out. And do we have any feedback from the 24-hour uh, work, work from home conference on how the viewership was? Oh, yeah. Can I can, I have all the data if you want, but you need to rub in. I can possibly okay. even, okay. let me see if I can present it if, you, if you're interested. I have a full okay. report. Let me just. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, Mateo, are you comfortable with this being on, um, on our YouTube channel before you? Uh, probably not. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, because uh, we're, we're going to record this. Uh, maybe we can stop recording for now, Joe, and then resume when Mateo <clears throat> Back. Cool. So um, you just raised a good good point. Feature requirement um, accessibility um, concerns are and, and internationalization um, 
concerns are uh, certainly super important and, and probably some things we could do to have guides for presenters as well um, there. Um, okay, so um, back to the, to the format question. Um, what, you know, let's, let's assume for a minute that everybody is more or less stretched across, you know, five or six consecutive time zones, which is more manageable. Um, would we rather have an event that um, kind of kept everybody together solidly um, for a couple of days, or would we rather uh, figure out how to break that up um, so we're we're not necessarily putting people in their their chairs in front of the collabs collab summit content for say four hours a day. Um, what what do you all imagine being like the the max we can and uh, we can ask of people to endure there. That's a really good question. I think both on like comfort and you know just on people's availability with, with work and stuff too. Yeah, what why wouldn't we need to put it into two days? Why couldn't we just think about a a bigger scale, like having the collapse summit stretch out on a week to fit all the time zones request properly? Given that we don't have to travel to a certain location and we don't have um, yeah, that limitation. So it can be like Collab Summit starts on the 26th and the party doesn't stop until we say it stops. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Just like, uh, I, you know what, I kind of I kinda like that as just a fun way to frame it, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, I, I, I guess it cannot stay forever collapse summit, but you know, you need to frame it to at least a certain time. But I, I don't think we are forced to have it within two days, uh, like packed into two days. I think something like a week could be also possible to consider. Mm -hmm. Every day is collab summit day. <laughs> yeah, that's my Christmas. Um, that's a good. I like that idea. Like instead of it being you know, another thing that I kind of like about that is that um, it kind of reinforces this idea that collab, the, the values and the spirit of collab summit are something we should be continuing beyond like a, and that, that's, I, I love collab summit. So it's, it's like, oh, okay, so collab summit's over, but it lives on, you know, like, like, I don't know. I, I like that idea. Um, it also does, uh, to your point, Christian, just give us a lot more flexibility for people who want to participate in multiple sessions across multiple time zones. We, we just get more room to work with. Yeah, and it, it could be even focused on specific areas um, on specific days. Let's say uh, Monday is foundation oriented uh, topics, uh, then Tuesday is Node.js oriented topics, and depending on what kind of session we press or proposals we get, we can like have a day focus on specific areas so that the context switching isn't that crucial and problematic. So one um, slight challenge is that the 26th is um, Thursday. So, um, you know, I don't know if we would want to say that that's a week consecutive inclusive of the weekends. Or, you know, if that would be something that we would stop and resume on Monday, you know, um, or if we were to say along with the, an, along with 
a possible announcement of moving online that we start summit on Monday of the following week. Um, thoughts on that? The conference is Tuesday, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So again, how do you handle Monday, Thursday, Friday? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, got it. Yeah. So, so we, instead of starting summit after the conference, it could start the Monday before the conference and run that week. Is that what you're saying, Robin? No, it's just a, a question and a yeah. statement more than anything. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. It could be an option. Definitely have Monday as a day where people, where we try to schedule sessions, especially for people that are new to those foundation um, events, and we want to invite them. And you know, this is like a pre-conference um, event that you might like to attend online. Um, and then, you know, they get like a feel of what, how that feels like. And then, if they if they want to continue participating, they can stay being continuing online on uh, Thursday and Friday and eventually next week. That's an interesting, so, so like the Monday day before OpenJS World is like the new contributor track type content. Yeah. Um, and then it kind of, that's a really good idea. It kind of makes it a week of OpenJS. Exactly. I, I like it quite a lot, to be honest. So. It's, uh, it's actually a very good idea because it allows us to provide some more content, talk about our projects. So ideally we shouldn't be inviting all projects to do, to take even a 20 minutes talk, something like that, of what it feels like to contribute to that project, what the project is about and, and so on. So for me, yeah, absolutely. Like this seems uh, fantastic, fantastic. Um, I like that you like it. Mateo, that makes me happy. <laughs> I had to go and turn on the light because you can you couldn't see me anymore. Yeah. So you see that the sun is going down. Yes. Okay. Um, so new like new contributor um, track content going in on Monday before OpenJS World. A call to the projects, all the projects to. Um, put something together for that day. Um, so and now I'm thinking um, that's this, this is awesome. Um, it kind of, so then the, a question would be if then on Tuesday, Wednesday, and I think the answer is no, it is my like personal sense, but I, it's a question for everybody. Do we continue to run collab summit content on Tuesday, Wednesday, um, which are the days of the OpenJS world, or do we stop like Collab Summit track activities during OpenJS world? Joseph, stop. I, I, I would say stop um, and have, you know, focus on the event. Uh, I just want to add to you real quickly that I think the, the new contributor idea for Monday is great. And I think also if they're looking at the schedule of, of OpenJS World, um, if there were any sessions, any like speaker sessions where a sort of new contributor or some sort of intro to a discussion could happen on the Monday might be good as well. Like say if James is talking about Quick or something, then maybe, you know, there's sort of like an intro to Quick co uh, collab summit session um, on the Monday as well. But I don't mean to derail the question of whether the collab summit happens during the conference. I, I would say no. That's that's my um, my opinion as well. I wouldn't want to um, like take any viewership away from the online event um, for for OpenJS World. I think it benefits us to have a strong OpenJS World experience so that's my two cents yeah i would also say that the tools that we're looking at for a virtual event have a lot of interactive engagement opportunities so i would love to have all of our top contributors maintainers 
and you know present during OpenJS world to participate in those online discussions and not sidetracked, so to speak. Yeah. Um, okay, so that is that's a super idea. So it's, yeah, it sounds like in terms of, um, and I'm going to start kind of winding us to some yeah, thanks Joe, uh, to some conclusions for um, to make progress on. Uh, it sounds like we are preferring an online experience that would include starting on Monday prior to OpenJS World with new contributors. Um, we would prefer a solution that um, allowed us to balance interest from registrants with time zone availability of the speakers slash presenters. Um, and that is an AI to me to go talk to Dom about how they did that for W3C um, from a tooling standpoint. Um, we all have ongoing action items to encourage our working groups and our communities to submit um, proposals for Collab Summit. Um, I realize that everybody's in the same boat here where they're like, oh, well, we don't really know what's going on, so we haven't submitted a proposal. But also it's hard to plan this without the proposals. So um, we need to, to, to do what we can to encourage um, our groups to, to submit those. And particularly if we're very keen on the new contributor track idea, to do that for um, that population, um, which I think is a really solid move. Um, and obviously Robin has the um, the very important and uh, unenviable AI to continue um, <laughs> wearing the heavy crown, figuring out what we're doing here with all of the uncertainty in the world. Thank you, Robin. Um, what well, else? You know what? Sorry, just to jump in. What I would suggest is why don't why don't we put together a, a draft, um, you know, a time frame agenda. To give us something to react to because that can help us also evaluate the technology tool that we select and then maybe you all can react to that this week would that work because maybe we have some early more something in the early morning something in the evening but that at least gives us if we start framing it out and then it also shows us where we might have gaps mm -hmm. um, and where projects can say oh wait 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 no i did want to track now that I see that draft out there, draft empty agenda framework. Um, yeah, I think that's a good uh, a good idea. Um, just something that helps us sort of visualize how this could come together over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, in our last couple of minutes, I just wanted to ask um, for a couple of things. One is there's um, open PR with some meeting notes if you don't mind popping over plus one or add any changes when you get a minute. Um, and the second is that uh, just a question um, which I will just continually ask, is there anything we need to add uh, or update on the readme? And thank you to Christian for um, updating the README last week with the COVID info. Okay, I see none of that. Any other business today? Okay, last thing is that you are all killing it. You're doing a great job. I'm very proud of you. Hang in there. You've got this. I love you. Um, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you, Joey. Thank, Thank you, Joey. Bye. 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 Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.